What do you think about coffee? I love coffee. I've heard it's not very good for singers, but I've heard plenty of things that are not good for singers. It, it turns out that singers shouldn't do a lot of things to live, but how to live them? I just enjoy my coffee. Hi, it's Jake here from Voice Enthusiast. Today, I will react to Dimash Kudaibergen tribute to Michael Jackson. Yes, yes, it turns out that he is one of the greatest singers in the world, just like Michael Jackson was in his times. So, yeah, let's get to it. Let's get to it. Let's listen to the song and then I'll try to express my impressions. Yeah. Okay, the song is from uh, channel G Wu Wu W U. Okay, so let's get to it. Thank you, Ahmed. Permit the rain. Give us all that Nange. See you in those times, get it put. So, sit in. Parmusha. Michael Jackson and the other ones of Shango Drexha. He's super. Nice. There's more. What are the stars? What about pain? What about all the things that you say to your skin? What about killing things? What about all the things that you say to yours and mine? Did you hear something like this? All the blood we've shared before 
did you ever start to notice the quiet notes beneath the shorts? I wasn't expecting two songs. Uh, all right, so, so from the very beginning, uh, it was beautiful. It was very beautiful. Uh, uh, for me, it was d different from Michael Jackson's version because Dimash has very bright vocal in, uh, in this uh, Billie Jean. He was very, very bright, very... Um, it was flawless. Yes, it was flawless. But in Michael Jackson's version, it was very dirty. Of course, Michael Jackson is also singing very high, very beautiful, very, very bright. But this Billie Jean is very uh, covered with, with effects. And uh, so it was very, very different. The Dimash approach was very different from Michael Jackson's. Mm. And one thought came to me uh, listening to it, that they share one thing. Uh, they are very precise. Michael Jackson is extremely, was extremely pr precise in his moves, in his, uh, in his voice. And Dimash, Dimash is also very, very precise with his voice. He sings uh, in bigger uh, vocal range than uh, Michael Jackson and when we go to the uh, Earth song you can hear that they their voices match uh, my my idea of Michael Jackson voice and uh, Dimash Kudaybergen version right now they were uh, very similar because they both were using very light approach uh, it was very interesting that Dimash uh, did another pattern of uh, of sounds mm, when we were expecting that uh, he will go on the same uh, mm, level as Michael Jackson. He went octave lower. And when we go to the last part, uh, what about the seas? What about everything? It was very, when well, he was flying, you know, uh, it was very, very emotional, very, uh, very intense, but without tension in throat. Mm, yeah, bravo, 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 Dimash Kudaybergen. I think he's, he's one of the greatest. He's, uh, maybe if he will take a few more lessons, uh, dance lessons, he'll be as great as Michael Jackson in dancing. But I think in singing, he is, Probably better, yeah. Maybe if we can mm, dirt his voice more, <laughs> then then he will he will sing those uh, uh, those Michael Jackson songs uh, a little closer to his uh, way. But I think I think it's more interesting that 
Dimash went other way singing those uh, those songs because he showed his way of singing, not trying to do the same things as Michael Jackson. He just showed his heart, his emotions, his his approach to to music, and I think it's very very beautiful. It was nice to listen to it. I hope you will send me more more of those beautiful songs. Mm, of course, you can smash the like button and subscribe. That's all I ask. No, no, all I ask is that you will be here on my next video and we will share our passion to the music. Thank you.